All too often, we see fake or inaccurate news on page one in big print, while corrections or the truth are buried somewhere in the back in small print. Today, we are going to shed light on a revelation that will shake up your belief on government-generated statistics. Let's dive in. Before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe for more economic updates. Beneath the surface of seemingly stable employment statistics lies a startling truth. The Labor Department downwardly revised its initial 2023 employment statistics by a stunning 443,000 jobs through last November. A careful look at the data reveals significant downward revisions to 10 of 11 monthly jobs reports last year. Another way to look at these revisions is that the monthly jobs numbers from January through November last year were inflated by an average of slightly more than 40,000 jobs per month. This calls into question just how reliable economic statistics generated by the government really are. Are these inaccuracies mere accidents, or could they hint at a possible hidden agenda? Neither answer is reassuring. Economist Peter Schiff, who famously predicted the 2008 financial crisis, tweeted, 10 of the last 11 jobs reports have been revised sharply lower. What are the odds that's random? Try tossing a coin 11 times and see how often either heads or tails come up, 10 times out of 11 tosses. The sheer scale of these inaccuracies is hard to ignore. For example, the government initially pegged job growth last June at 209,000, but two months later, the feds had revised that figure down to just 105,000, a difference of nearly 50%. Mistake or not, having accurate information is critical because these figures have a ripple effect globally. As Fox Business anchor Elizabeth McDonald said, this matters because U.S. jobs reports move the markets and U.S. Treasury yields. Plus, they are a significant factor in the Federal Reserve's decisions about the path of interest rate hikes and cuts. All that affects U.S. consumers' pocketbooks. I'd also like to point out that in addition to U.S. consumer pocketbooks, this also impacts investors across the board including individual retirement savers. On that note, another economist, David Rosenberg, tweeted in response to the revisions, time to stop trading off the payroll data. In conclusion, I will leave you with this. The world of economic statistics is not always as straightforward as it seems. Stay vigilant, keep questioning, and remember, the truth is often buried somewhere in the back of the paper in small print. Until next time.